Henrietta Leavitt was an American astronomer around the turn of last century, and what she discovered was a pattern in a certain kind of star called a Cepheid variable. Henrietta's discovery is called the period luminosity relationship. So period means time, and luminosity means brightness. So what she basically was saying about these Cepheid variable stars was that the brightest that the star gets is in direct relationship to how long it blinks. The precise way of saying it is that Henrietta helped us measure the universe. Henrietta grew up in uh, Massachusetts. She was the daughter of a pastor, and she was actually very well educated. She went to Radcliffe, which was an all-girls school at the time, and uh, from Radcliffe she then what amounts to an, an internship, <laughs> she, she came to, to Harvard Observatory and was basically a secretary there, um, but a secretary for astronomers. What they were actually called was computers, meaning that they sat up there in that little attic in those offices and computed all day. They did math for the astronomers, they did algorithms, calculus, uh, determining all of these things for, for the male astronomers. Harvard had what was at the time the, the largest telescope in the nation, it might have been the world, called the Great Refractor Telescope. Uh, and the uh, interesting thing is that the women were not allowed to use it. It was a male-only instrument. So what Henrietta actually did was uh, she analyzed what was called star plates, which were basically window pane sized pieces of glass, uh, photographs from the telescope. They basically attached a camera to the end of the telescope and took pictures of the sky. So when she was looking at these photographs, she was measuring uh, the exact brightness, the size, uh, the amount of light that was on the, on the glass from these stars. She was looking at their distance from one another. She was looking at the brightness. Henrietta um, developed uh, a bit of hearing loss when she was in college. And she kind of made a joke <laughs> that the reason why she was so good at this meticulous work that required such intense focus was that she could take her hearing aid out and just kind of block out the world. What we know about her is that she was just delightful and lovely and um, funny. She had a great sense of humor. She was a great friend. Um, and, uh, and really an inspiration to the people around her. She did not end up getting married, um, but in the play, I give her a love story. It's my little gift <laughs> to Henrietta Leavitt. Henrietta um, unfortunately died way too young. She died of ovarian cancer. Uh, about two years after she passed away, there was a man who was a nominator for the Nobel Prizes, and he called Harvard Observatory where she worked and basically wanted to nominate her for a Nobel Prize in physics, uh, not knowing that she'd already passed away. And Nobel Prizes aren't given posthumously. So it, it kind of breaks my heart to think that she might have been a Nobel Prize winning astronomer. And there's actually um, a lunar crater named in her honor and an asteroid named in her honor. Uh, and a lot of people are trying to get the period luminosity relation to be named Henrietta's Law. So I, I think there is a new movement around Henrietta uh, to acknowledge her work. She's not just a, an important woman, she's an important human, an important American. And I think her story um, can be an example for us all. Mm -hmm.